All right, you guys, so about a year ago, I uploaded a plucking tutorial and it was very detailed and very beginner friendly. However, I have changed my techniques and they're gonna be beneficial for you and me. So don't really use those techniques anymore. We're going to do this one, which I'm gonna show you guys today. So first things first, you wanna go ahead and bleach your knots. Yes, I think that bleaching your knots is beneficial because it's gonna appear more natural and it's also gonna be easier for you to pluck the hair out of the frontal. This is a HD lace front wig, 13 by six parting space and it's pre-plucked. Essentially, it's pre-plucked. However, I like to go in and pluck more. So first things first, wherever your customer or yourself, if you're doing this for yourself, and right now I'm just showing you what, you know, the 13 by six parting space consists of and looks like if you guys don't really know what that means. But wherever you want your part to be, you wanna go ahead and part that out. This is very, very important because once you start to pluck, you don't want to mistakenly pluck in the wrong areas. And then once you start to part your hair for the style, it's all patchy and blotchy and pieces are missing. You really don't want to do that. So wherever your part is going to be, make sure you part that area out first. And right here in these areas, these areas where I have my fingers, anything between my fingers, you don't wanna go in that area because that is where your part is essentially going to be. And you wanna stay away from those zones because like I said, once you start to pluck, you may pluck too much in one area and then you're gonna have a patchy part and that's not cute. So stay away from those areas wherever your part is going to be. You wanna make sure you keep a water bottle near you because this process will require the hair to be wet. There are some people who don't like to pluck their wigs or wear their wigs plucked, and that's absolutely fine because like I said, these wigs do come pre-plucked already. However, I like my hairline super, super, you know, close to my own natural hairline. So I always go in and pluck more. So in reference to my old plucking tutorial, I advise you guys to take out the pre-plucked areas and to start right here in the back. However, I don't do that anymore because I realize that when I teach people like that, it tends to make the hairline look patchy. So we're not gonna do that. We're not gonna take any of the hair out. We're just going to pluck behind the hairline. In this part of my hand, my pinky finger, and the edge of my hand, I don't know what to call that area. But anyway, I use that part to smooth the hair backwards as I'm plucking. As you can see, follow along with me. And you just wanna go ahead and just pluck behind the hairline not on the hairline, but behind the hairline. And the purpose of plucking is to get rid of the density that you can see while the hair is all the way combed back like this. If you could comb the hair back and see behind the pre-plucked areas where the hair gets dense, you wanna go in and thin those areas out. I also chose not to speed this video up simply because you guys tend to think that you have to pluck fast or you have to pluck real, real hard and real, real super fast. And that's really not the case. Plucking is a very time consuming process. And this is a quick tip to my stylists, the stylists that are watching this video. I always ask that my clients drop their wig off two to three days in advance because plucking is a very time consuming process. Bleaching the knots is a very time consuming process. And you don't wanna go ahead and spend four hours, four, five, six hours on one person because you have to bleach the knots, wait for that process to start, braid them down, 
you know, it's just too much that goes into the hairstyle. So I recommend that you guys get the wigs or the frontals or the closures dropped off to you two to three days before their appointment. Not only is plucking a time-consuming process, it's a pretty repetitive process. It's going to be the same exact thing all the way around the whole piece of the lace. But I didn't speed this up and I didn't really cut many pieces out because I want you guys to see the transition and actually see what I'm doing. So you see right here in this area, I'm going to stop plucking right there because the density has thinned out and I will not be plucking anymore in this area. I'm going to move over to right here where you can see where it's natural in the front, but it gets very dense right in this area. You're going to go ahead and thin that out. Another quick little tip, you want to make sure you're holding your tweezers correctly and you also want to make sure you invest in the proper tweezers. The tweezers don't have to be a million dollars, you can get them very cheap at your local beauty supply store. You just want to make sure you hold them the right way and you want to hold them where the slant is. You don't want to hold it to where the pointy part is going down into the lace because number one, you're going to have holes and number two, you're really not going to be plucking out much at all. So you want to make sure you hold the tweezers at the slant and then just glide on through. So yes, right here, I just went ahead and sped it up a little bit because like I said, plucking is very repetitive. But I want you guys to still, still see the transition where it starts to get thin out and appear more natural. Now that we've got one side down, we're going to move on to the other side and you can definitely tell the difference like i said some people like to wear their wigs as they come pre-plucked they don't like to go in and do the extra work or any of that but you can definitely see the difference from this side which is not plucked yet versus the other side which we went ahead and customized I also want to let you guys know that plucking is very, you know, up to you. It's your preference. It depends on what you like. It depends on what your client likes. It also depends on how your hairline looks and how your client hairline looks. Plucking is easier done on the canvas head, on the mannequin head, or if you want to pluck it on your client, you can. However, it does hurt a little bit, so I really wouldn't recommend that you do that, but some people do that. However, I wouldn't recommend it, like I said, because it hurts. Also, plucking can be done, you know, partially on the canvas head. And then once you do put it on your client, you can go in a tad bit. But just try to be careful to not hurt them. Well, that about sums this video up and I hope this video helps you guys. I hope this sharpens up your plucking skills because I know a lot of people struggle with plucking and they don't know if they pluck too much. They don't know if they pluck too less. It's honestly your preference. And from this plucking tutorial, this is about how much hair came out and that's it. See you guys next time.